Right, so project changing rooms. This is, as I'm walking, um, the back bedroom, which is currently mine and Mark's, um, and it will become Ella's bedroom, and also has to serve the purpose of a guest room. Now, a couple years ago, we had wardrobes fitted in, so we've got these Oh, don't look at my messy clothes down there. Um, we've got a dresser, a built-in wardrobe, which I'm not opening because you should see the state of my mess in there. And then above the bed storing, storage with a built-in headboard and then two bedside tables. Then we have, over to the side, a fairly good-sized window, radiator on the wall, which makes putting things on that wall challenging. And then here is the blank wall. But as you notice, there is not a massive amount of space. Now this bed is a king size bed. Um, our goal is to make this into Ella's bedroom. And my thoughts on it are that, this is my new plan which I had to convince Hubby about, um, that this wall will actually become sort of storage central. Um, I want to remove the bed, because I don't think Ella needs a king size bed to sleep in, even though we do need this to serve as a guest room for us on one or two occasions throughout the year. However, we've got the built in bedside tables. I don't want to remove those because that could destroy the wall behind it and make our makeover job that much more difficult. So my thought is to take the space between currently occupied by the bed and put in maybe two different things. One, like a, a toy chest and maybe a, a little desk and chair or a couple storage system type things, possibly from Ikea, and make the headboard, recover it, um, or just basically uh, drape some fabric around it and make it into a bit of a pin board, so to speak. And then have the floor space be open and put a day bed on this blank wall that could then pull out to become a double bed guest bed when we need to. So that's my new plan. Um, the other possibility is to rip out the two bedside tables and rip the headboard off the wall and then use that niche, keep the overbed storage, but use that niche for a day bed stroke um, guest bed sort of thing. We'd love to do um, possibly a bunk bed that had a double bed underneath it, but we have a height issue um, where I don't think we could find something um, to fit in this space. So that is my new thought for Project Changing Rooms, Ella's Bedroom. Right, Project Changing Rooms. The front bedroom, which is currently, as you can see, a dumping zone. This has been our guest bedroom. Prior to that, it was um, the master bedroom for Mark and I. Um, it's a slightly larger room than the back bedroom, and it has built-in wardrobes, which are incredibly ugly and dated, all along um, the wall here, with fairly good space, storage space inside, um, as it only has basically a, a, a clothes rod and then a shelf on the top. Um, a bit of a mess and completely needs organizing. But um, we have a built-in dresser or drawers here. This room serves as um, Mark's uh, sort of work preparation room. <laughs> he All of his work clothes are in the wardrobe and all of his beauty products are there. Um, we have two bedside tables built in and sort of sort of a headboard kind of thing going on. Mark um, did attempt, he, he repainted this shortly before I arrived on the scene and um, did a bit of decorating there. But basically we're just looking at um, a co more of a cosmetic makeover job. We want to get a new window treatment because those uh, curtains are abysmal. Um, and we have paint to paint. We're going to try to repaint the laminate cupboards um, and take, I don't know that we can take the little beading trim off because it's really, it really dates it. It's kind of got kind of a gold horrific thing going on. But um, if we can't um, take the trim off without damaging the doors too much, we'll just do our best to sort of paint over it basically. Um, 
But the only other thing I was thinking we would try, Mark is in favor of trying to get some sort of overbed storage um, stroke headboard thing on the back wall there. But I think that's going to make the room a bit too heavy. And it's also a cost we perhaps don't need to incur. We really do need a new bed because this bed is a bit rubbish. And it has two drawers at the end of the bed, which you can't see, and they're, they're not very functional. So we want a bed that actually lifts up, and we can have bigger storage area underneath. My, my only other crazy thought is this dresser that is built in. If we can remove that, we have a, a fairly decent sized wall space there, albeit with a little bit that comes out. But um, what we could do there, you all know that my favorite storage system from Ikea, Expedit, or however they say it, um, <clears throat> we could potentially put something in there. It wouldn't be as wide as the drawers, but would still allow us cubbies that we can store clothes, um, other things in, and, uh, you know, have some display, but also then increase the space between the end of the bed and the storage, because we will be having a Moses basket in here for a few weeks when baby number two arrives. So, this is the current state, rather embarrassing, of bedroom number one, project changing rooms. Right, project changing rooms, the baby's room. This is currently Ella's room. It's really uh, the teeny tiny box room that most semis that have two bedrooms upstairs have. Um, generally, when, it, when um, we had it as a um, infant room for Ella. The crib was pretty much on this wall. And then right here we've used this wall as display for um, little canvases that we had all the family members paint for Ella as a present before she was born, which is lovely. We really don't need to do anything um, paint-wise with this room. It's green. We don't know the sex of this baby, so that's appropriate. Um, it has what do you call them? Blinds and a roller, um, a roller blind as well. It's a blackout blind, and then it has a little shelf on this wall. Um, it's good size space. This bed is um, the cot bed. It was the cot when Ella was a baby. So what we do need to do is um, put this together as a cot again, and probably put the, put together the changing table that we had before. That bookcase. Oh, it's IKEA, Expedit. Hmm, that's funny. Um, that bookcase will go into this room when Ella moves into it, and then um, we'll probably keep this dresser for the baby um, because baby clothes are pretty small, and Ella will have a dresser in the other room. So this is the baby's room, which really just needs more um, tidying up, sort of reassembling the furniture, and thankfully, not a lot, uh, not a lot to do. We're going to do something with that wall. I'm not sure what yet. Possibly pictures of the family um, on this wall instead of the canvases, um, but we still do want to do something special for the family to be involved in the nursery as well. So that is just a tiny changing room project for Bebe.